Well, Bill, we know you've been talking about September. Yeah. Might be a little early to lock into that, but this first week of August sure is nice. Well, it'll get the kids ready for a school for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Now what we're going to look at as we go through time, this September weather we've got out there, it is not going to last. It will not last until September. We're going to talk about the reason why coming up in just a second. But the view from Keeneland, the same thing we've seen a lot of over the last few weeks. The sky is not blue. No matter what you were taught, right now the sky is not blue. We've got a haze out there. It's Canadian smoke out there again, and it's not, and the giant wasps are coming by. Uh, Keeneland, again, your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera. Uh, through tomorrow, September preview will continue. It actually does for a good chunk of the week. In the eight day, it is remarkably boring. We'll try and find some ways to spice it up a little. Fun facts to know and tell department, the two thirds of summer edition. Let's get into it. So July, June 1st to July 31st, the first two thirds of meteorological summer. We've got one more month to go. So where do we sit temperature wise? We are below normal, about a degree and a half overall. That ties us for the 44th coolest first two months of summer. Last time we were like this with 2000, 1998 and 1946. Rainfall, we've had 11 and a half inches officially at the Bluegrass Airport. That's about an inch and a half above normal. 22nd wettest tied with 1941. What's interesting though, and I know it again, it rained in a whole lot of places and rained a lot, but it didn't hit the official rain bucket. So over the last two weeks and change, one one hundredth of an inch of rain in the official bucket. 90 degree days, we've only had five. Tied for the 26 fewest, by this point we would normally have had nine. In terms of the mugginess, well, it's kind of staying away. Kind of feels good. We may see those numbers start to crank up a little bit more towards Saturday and Sunday, but overall, it is a pretty comfortable week for us. From the Kentucky Mesonet, it's upper 70s to around 80. 76 in Stanford, 76 in McKee. Owingsville's at 77. Right now at the Bluegrass Airport, we sit at 78 after a high today that did briefly touch 80, but that dew point number, that's what just makes you walk outside and smile. It is comfortable. And tomorrow, we'll add a degree or so. So it's low 80s around the Bluegrass, 80 Nicholasville and Winchester, 81 in Cynthiana. Around the east, again, it's 80-ish, although you've got an 83 in Stanton, but 81 in Moorhead, 80 in West Liberty. To the southeast we go. For the most part, it's the low 80s, although maybe a degree or two cooler right along the Virginia line where there's a shower chance. Manchester looks at an 82 degree high. And finally in the lakes, 83 Somerset, 80 in London, pretty representative for most. In terms of the temperatures the rest of the week, there is a warming trend. Normal high is 87. We get there on Saturday, and then there's some heat lurking next week. Why? because the jet stream is going to change patterns. So right now we are pulling it down from the north here. And as long as we're doing that, that's how we're also bringing in that Canadian smoke. That's also the cool weather that we're experiencing. What's going to happen with time, the flow is going to change. The cool weather is going to lift up to the north. Our flow becomes southwesterly. And what establishes out here to our east, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the Bermuda highs. And in this configuration, we will get warmer. We will get more humid and eventually the tropics are going to start to get going as well, and that will be the conduit that the tropical storms will follow. Mainly clear for us tonight, that Canadian haze and Canadian cool. Overnight lows, upper 50s. Tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, a little haze. Still a September feeling day, though, with highs in the low 80s. Rest of your eight-day goes like this. Low 80s on Wednesday, mid-80s on Thursday, mid to upper 80s to around 90 through the rest of the eight-day. And again, there's not a lot of rain there.